wonder if I just found like a baby animal to put on my YouTube channel every day. If that would make the views go up. I'm sure it would. I mean, we were just sitting back, you know. So, I live in this apartment complex. It's called the lakes. Do we have like a bunch of lakes like these? Like in the middle of the apartment complex, so it, it kind of feels like less like an apartment. Like I say, man, like I say, man. Always, said always said it. It's not about the destination. It's all about the journey. Ain't nothing changed but the weather. The dangling carrot it hang from the rear view. Uh -huh. Your dreams in the past ain't nowhere near you. Backseat drivers got nothing. All right, had to stop and get some Starbucks. Of course, I'll get some horses ready. I don't, know. I don't know what my plan is today for this video, but we'll figure it out as we go. So dirty when I do these. <laughs> it's so bad. I'm not the nicest to my cameras, but I use them a lot, so that's how I justify it. All right, guys, we got baby animal number two. They're so baby. It's amazing, like. When I get a three-year-old in, I've like forgotten how immature they are. And like, this is Bello. He's super, he's a really good horse. How should I say that? He's like, he has really good intentions. He's very kind, but you just realize how green they are and how much you teach them over the years. So even my five-year-olds now seem so mature compared to this one the horsemanship is it's so vast it's hard for me in a video like this to explain all of the things that i want to explain but i think one thing i want to talk about in this video is just an educational system that is successful don't crowd me there he can spook it's okay if he spooks but he can't run over me so I just kind of establish this space bubble and enforce it if he spooks or something. So this educational system, um, what we want to do is we want to make it gradual enough that the horse understands. So if you think when you start a horse, I think most people go too fast. And what happens then is we get in a wreck because the horse doesn't know, doesn't understand what we're after. And so in horsemanship, if we can find little steps, again, I might enforce my space bubble. It can back up there. If we can find little steps and then progressively build and add on top of those, we can be successful with our horses. It's when we try to get too much that we get into trouble. I'll, I'll show you guys. I get up halfway on both sides and do that quite a bit and move around quite a bit. Now, I find this really helpful because starting the young horses, if they get worried in this place, I can just step down and it's no big deal. Once I'm on them, if they get worried and I get bucked off, it's a lot bigger deal and they interpret it as a bigger deal. So if they get scared, I want them to get scared when I'm halfway up and then I can just step down. Let me show you guys.
just like that. If he moves off, that's okay. I can just bend him. And I keep my rope kind of short here like this. But I can bend him if I need to. And so I start there. I start there at the beginning, just getting up halfway. Maybe they can walk around a little bit and then getting back down again. And I do that actually for quite a while because then they realize it's not so bad for you to be up on their back. And at the same time, if they get worried, you can just step down. Um, another thing I wanna talk about is using the rope halter. So their whole lives, we've taught them to operate in a halter. Then I think what most people do is they say, we have to ride them now. So they put a bridle in their mouth and go to riding them. But that's not a, a good way to support them progressively in, in that education. So it's like if we've taught them and tell a, a kid, if we've taught a kid to speak English until they're 10, and then at 10 we start speaking Spanish. They understand the halter. So we need to make a gradual transition to the bit. The bit, the contact is one of the most important things in dressage. So we have to preserve and nurture that, that it's a really productive, positive experience when we do put a bit in their mouth. So if we can start in a halter and get going, walk, trot, canter in a halter, we have a much better likelihood of having a good experience getting there, and then having a good experience making the transfer to having a bit in their mouth. So just something to think about there. That next step for me is just getting on, swinging my leg over, and getting off. And they learn eventually that this isn't such a big deal to be ridden. But to think that we make this jump from on the ground to under saddle in such a short period of time is a mistake. I think of it like we have 10 years to make a Grand Prix horse. In some ways, the biggest change we make is from handling them on the ground to then riding them. Massive change. So we need to take our time in that transition that we can make it right, that we can do it right. And we can support the horse so that they think, oh, I understand this, I'm comfortable with this, I trust them with this. And I think if we do it that way, we have a better horse in the end. Yeah?